Well, the Jardin Group's results for 2021 were remarkable. I am so proud to say that more than 82,000 new personal and business members decided to join the Jardin in 2021. That's the most amazing results since the beginning of the century. Our surplus earnings are close to $3 billion. With this $3 billion, we're able to invest more quickly in our digital transformation, being more competitive for you, our members and our clients. And I'm so proud that we are close to $400 billion of assets. Desjardins is the only North American financial cooperative of this size. We are so well prepared for the future. Well, cooperation is a great strength that comes from our members. And since cooperatives are ultimately a group of people that have voluntarily decided to join together to meet a common need. So what we can say is our purpose at the end of the day is to always do what is best in the interest of our members and our clients. That's a big difference because this association of people, our purpose is for them. The other aspect with cooperation is financial literacy. Since our foundation, we're there to help our members to empower their knowledge in literacy, in financial aspect of their life, and help them to be more autonomous, more independent in their financial life, in their life. That's a purpose that is so important for us as a cooperative. And also the fact that our members own collectively Desjardins. So no one can buy Desjardins. No one can make a takeover of Desjardins. We should be so proud of the fact that we built that since more than a century and we own it. And finally, our engagement in the society. Desjardins has always been a socio-economic leader in the economy and so engaged in many regions and many aspects of our life. I think that during the pandemic, people gained a deeper understanding of the meaning and the importance of solidarity and mutual assistance. All segments of society will need to work hard to ensure a strong socioeconomic recovery. Governments, corporation, and community organizations will have to work together closely to meet the challenges before us. We have to set ourselves the goal of building back for the better sake of our future generations, for the young people. And I think the best way to achieve this is to make all of our big decisions based on what is best for our youth. Although the situation has improved, we are maintaining at Desjardins all of the relief measures established two years ago for our members and clients who are still struggling financially. Desjardins is contributing to the economic recovery through the Good Spark Fund and the Momentum Fund. Since the Good Spark Fund was created, we have committed nearly $150 million in more than 650 projects across the country. For Desjardins, that's how a socio-economic leader should act. It means being a positive force in our society that provides reassurance and inspiration. Desjardins operates everywhere in Canada, from Nova Scotia to British Columbia. We have entities and business units that offer a full range of financial and insurance services across the country. In fact, Alphonse Desjardins founded 18 cases in Ontario in his foundation. In the recent years, major acquisitions helped Desjardins to bolster our growth outside of Quebec. We consolidate our footprint in Western Canada, in Ontario and in the Atlantic. Actually, as an example, our recent acquisition of State Farm Canada helped us to become 
the second largest property and casualty insurer in Canada. We are the fifth life and health insurer in the country. So Ontario, Western Canada, Atlantic provinces are a key market for Desjardins. Just to give you an idea, a third of our revenues in 2021 came from outside Quebec. So we will continue to look out for more opportunities, partnerships, acquisition, and we're ready for more growth outside Quebec. And during the pandemic, we continued to offer direct support to business owners and our members and clients through our GoodSpark grants. It's $3 million fund that was specially intended to support small businesses. And through our 250 million Good Spark Fund, we also help and innovate with more than 650 projects to support our communities and our society. And the same goes for our investment for youth. The pandemic has hit our young people particularly hard. It's taken a heavy toll on them, which means that all key stakeholders, whether they are in the public or private sector, need to pitch in. We have to keep young people's best interests in mind all the time. And I want Desjardins to set an example. We all have a role to play and businesses should lead the way. The crisis has given us a rare opportunity to redefine our priorities. And the best way forward is to ask ourselves how every decisions we make will affect our kids. We have to listen to them and understand the extent of the challenges they face if we want to maintain a strong relationship with them. The Jardin Group currently supports more than 3,000 initiatives for young people. In 2021, we contributed a total of nearly $80 million to youth, whether it was through our flagship program, Together for Our Youth, the Desjardins Foundation, or some other means. The issues that concern young people today are climate change, general inequality, and the increasing difficulty of buying a first home. As a cooperative financial institution, we have a role to play in reassuring and supporting young people with these issues. I want Desjardins to raise awareness across the country about our responsibility to them. A year from now, at the start of 2023, I want Desjardins to help organize a major youth event that will benefit for our younger generation. We want our young people to develop their full potential and make their dreams come true.